We are a joint department, so we offer courses in philosophy and in religious studies. And on the religious studies side, we offer students an opportunity to study world religions and different cultural traditions around the world. You know, we offer classes in Hinduism, Buddhism, Confucianism. I think students really love our big Judaism class. They get the chance to study the Hebrew Bible, and we have another class in New Testament. And I teach classes in ethics, which I think students really love just because it raises big questions and we look at the different ways religions have answered those big ethical questions. So we study religion from an academic perspective, whereas at like a church or a synagogue or something you would learn from the religious perspective, we study it from what scholars would say about the text and the like history of the religions. I think it gives you a different perspective. Um, we live in a society that's very multicultural and has a lot of different religious perspectives and it helps you dive more into the traditions themselves and learn what they say about themselves versus what other people would say about them. As philosophers, we try to teach students how to analyze their beliefs in a variety of ways. And part of this is learning the basic history and traditions of their beliefs. So most of what's in current culture has been proposed by a philosopher at some point in time in history. People often find that they have questions that they didn't know that they could ask. It's like, what would it mean for the universe to be infinite? or can we really limit what is possible by what we can conceive? And when we're kids, we don't know not to ask those questions, but we kind of learn how to not ask them as we grow up. Philosophy gives us the chance to ask those questions that are the foundations of everything else we do. The sciences are explaining empirical evidence around us, but that's just a bunch of data collection. Philosophy takes that data and actually forms theories out of the data that we're collecting. Philosophy, it it just broadens your mind. What most employers are looking for now are people who are incredibly creative, really well-rounded, and very well-informed. They've got a strong capacity to think outside the box. And these are all the things that philosophy teaches in spades. I've grown more in my time as a philosophy major than I have in uh, probably any other sort of academic discipline throughout my life. And it carries over to every other aspect of, of my life really and, and if you're somebody who's interested in these questions and you find yourself sitting and thinking or engaging with your friends and, and really enjoying the discourse and, and, and solving these questions as best you can, I think that philosophy is just going to scratch that itch for you.